happy new year to all of you i hope all of you are completely fine and doing absolutely great we are already in the january 3rd wow uh, i remember on 31st i was doing some weird stuffs and now we are already four days ahead so time moves pretty fast anyway um, yeah again uh, happy new year and uh, i hope that 2024 will be the deciding year for you where you are going to achieve everything that uh, you uh, wrote on your dream list okay uh, come on we know we, we all write dream list in december that what are we going to achieve in 2024 <laughs> uh, anyway now i'm totally fine in december i was going through some rough stages now i'm totally fine and from now onwards we are going to have blast in tutorials okay now uh, among many planned tutorials i have one javascript interview series where i'm actually going to oh, why do i use these words actually i'm definitely going to use uh, 100 probably 80 to 100 top level questions and then i will try to clarify all of your interview related stuffs right there so from uh, after that series you will have no uh, difficulties in tackling javascript interview for that i was doing some practice so here uh, i i was actually asked this question okay now this question is uh, i also discussed this question in my javascript course but uh, then it's been a while since I've touched that so I thought that I should ask you I should create a very simple video and ask all of you if you can solve this if you really completed my javascript series you will be uh, easily well should I say easily well not really but uh, you should be able to solve this question now uh, let's go ahead and try to solve this again I'm telling you this is an informal video this is not the official video of javascript interview series I'm creating this random video all of a sudden so yeah uh, let's do it and this is also going to be the first video of 2024 I'm excited okay so uh, if you read it, it says write a higher order function higher order function now what is a higher order function see whenever you are in an interview try to break down each statement okay break down each statement so write a higher order function so what is a higher order function so a higher order function is a function that takes a function as a parameter okay parameter and gets value as arguments okay this is higher order function i'm going to demonstrate you and then this statement will also become crystal clear the next sentence says that uh, uh, write a higher order function named operate on numbers that takes two numbers and a callback okay so uh, and a callback function okay and then the callback function should perform a mathematical operation example add subtract multiply multiply divide on the two numbers and then use the callback function to demonstrate addition and subtraction so let's not try to do that so the first thing it says is uh, write a higher order function name operate on numbers so i'm going to copy this and i will create a very simple function operate on numbers well higher order function is not a functionality in javascript no it's how you create a function and how we pass a function as a parameter with the help of arguments so that is higher order function it's not like a uh, a generic function in javascript that is called a higher order function no it's just a normal function where you tweak something to create it a higher order to make it a higher order okay so function operate on numbers now the next thing that is says that it takes two numbers two numbers so i will say number one number two and then a callback function so i will say operator function operator function and that's it well what did i do <laughs> like this okay now it is saying that uh, the callback function should perform mathematical operations like add subtract multiply divide on the two numbers so number one and number two so all we have to do is we have to return this operate operate operator function operator function with number one and number two in its uh, as, as a parameter okay now this is the higher order function this is higher order function see this is number one number two this is parameter one parameter two and this is also a parameter but this parameter is actually going to be a function so 
when a parameter is a function that is passed to another function then this entire function is higher order function and now the next thing that it says is use the callback function to demonstrate addition and subtraction so here i can say uh, demonstration function i'll create function add or you can also create a function expression function add equals to uh, a very simple arrow function maybe why not let's complete the boilerplate and here all you have to do is maybe x y yeah why not and then return x x plus y y so this is demonstration function for add similarly we are going to create a demonstration function for subtract subtract and this time it is going to be y minus x y minus x you can also write x minus y there will be no problem subtract okay so now uh, these two functions add and subtract will be passed on the place of this operator function and so if we are going to pass add the number one and number two is going to be added and if we pass subtract the number one and number two will be subtracted so now here i can say result of add okay like this come on add i'll say const result of addition equals to we are using this operator numbers operator numbers so let's pass number 30 and 50 now what is the operation that you want to perform since the variable name itself is result of addition we are going to perform addition here okay now this addition will be performed using this callback function so here we just have to say add now if i console.log i'll say result let's use a template string we are pretty much familiar with it i'll say result of, come on of addition addition if i save we will get 80 and result of addition is 80 if you want to subtract you can again duplicate all of this but now i'm going to get rid of this i will simply say result okay and now you want to add so add but if you want to subtract you can say subtract all you have to do is you have to change the function name here and now uh, 50 will be subtracted okay so because here we have said y minus x okay and now if i save this okay it says uh, result of addition well here we have to update the variable name and now result of <laughs> well result is this one result is 20 because this time 50 was uh, 30 was subtracted from 50 okay so let me get rid of this comment so this is uh, higher order functions in work now all of this is highly explained in my javascript course okay but uh, yeah i thought that i should discuss it since i've already covered javascript in greater details uh, i am hoping that uh, many of you surely were able to solve this question if not then uh, well i will request all of you to please go through javascript course again and don't take it lightly let's make 2024 the greatest year uh, for our programming career and uh, yeah you'll have to hustle if you if you really want to if you really want to achieve something great then you'll have to do all of these tasks on your own nobody taught me nothing i did all of this on my own so i'm uh, i can only say you this okay i'm not a motivational speaker i Secret of achieving quick success is that the people who start with the half I say put in the work and uh, you will be uh, you will be far far ahead than those who really try to make excuse okay now this is a very simple question um, i don't really want to bore all of you again enjoy happy new year it's been the uh, it's, it's been almost almost one week that is going to be over in few days and uh, yeah that's it uh, from now onwards i will try to be as regular as possible uh, i'm creating the backend course so if you have any query uh, in comments you can ask me and i will be more than happy to tell you about what are the steps that we are uh, covering in the backend course okay now that's it yeah see you in the next one